Okay, so I'm at the front of the mill here. The spindle is all the way lowered for a separate reason. You have these coolant lines, these little flexible hoses, and this is for flood coolant. This will spray the coolant. You have a P, they call it P cool for programmable coolant. And it has a nozzle here, which through the program you can adjust how up at how high and how or how low it goes. I think there's like 20 different adjustments. Anyways, when this starts spraying and flooding, all the coolant washes all the chips away, it keeps the workpiece and the tooling cool. I don't have the way covers on yet. I actually just uh, finished the one way cover. That'll be installed soon. So when the coolant, it, it'll drain off everything. All the chips will run off. They'll get in this little auger system here and it'll all run, the auger will rotate, pushing all the chips out up this chute. And then I have this nice dirty trash can here that'll collect them so that it can be out of the machine. But the coolant, you can see these little tiny holes there and down low, the coolant will get filtered out and flush out of those holes. And when it flushes out those holes, it'll flow from those holes there down out of that little chute there. So you can see the holes on the top. That will drain out that chute and obviously not directly on the ground. It will go into the coolant tank. The coolant tank is parked right up next to it, drains out of there into the coolant tank. Let me pull this out. So the idea here is the coolant will fill up this tank, go underneath this bar, over this bar, and then underneath this bar, and then down through these holes, down through those holes, oh gosh, into the rest of the tank. And then through the pump here, back into the system. Of oh, this stainless steel, I don't wanna deal with the rust and this whole nonsense. So I cut this out, a little bit larger size. I have more in case I mess this up. And then a brief overview is I have this other 200 micron stainless steel mesh that I will attach to it. And yeah, the coolant will just flow through here and this will collect all the chips. And then I'll just be able to take this out, empty the chips, put this back. This is much lighter than, than this little container. Plus I think this, this is what Haas uses as for their mesh. So I just kind of copied it. We'll see how the 200 micron does. Apparently it does pretty good for uh, cast iron and other things where it creates very small chips. Nice little box of uh, floppy disks for the mill. Oh, and that is, I don't want to say perfect, but it's dang near close. And that's there. Okay, well, I'll just use that. I will use that as my template. Floppy disks are very useful. I've always said this. Ever since I was a little child. See where things end up? Although I think if I just use a little bit of brain power, I might be able to figure this out. I think I'll, I will cut it here. As I bend it in, I'll just constantly cut out until it matches up. I think I'll do that. I think that's what I'll do there. Oh wow. Oh wow. You know, these are not good cutters. These these are some old, old, I believe Kleins. It would say right there if it wasn't so rusty. I'm pretty sure they're Kleins. But even though these things are rusty, old, you can see like right in the tooth how many wires they've cut. Look at this. Like butter. Yep, 
This is exactly how butter cuts. If you were to use pliers to cut butter, I just imagine that's what this will be like. Let's just bend that out of the way. Bend this out of the way. Oh, look how much of a genius I am. Hold this down. Now I need the sides to fit. So, this will go about there because it's going to slide in, hopefully, real easily. All right, there's that. Great. Those things are interlocked, interlocked, or interlinked, interlinked. Now this guy will just be bent up at a 90 degree angle. And this will just get bent in, of course. Ah, oh, dang it. Owie. Everything is so dang pokey. Should give me not even one problem going in. Like it should just go in so smooth. This side is just pokey as heck. Oh yeah, wow, look at that. Really, really pokey. I think you can see how this is turning out. So, uh, I think we can get rid of our floppy disks now. You know? <laughs> They do have these things called gloves. I don't know why I don't use them. I'm going like this. And then in. That's pretty much it. Just wrap this around. And that will give it some side rigidity. I can cut it. Not very clean, I don't think. So it should be easy enough just to have this in there, pull it out, take it, maybe hose it out. A little grinder. And cut along here. Yeah, here it goes. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now there's no knots. Now, take this, set it in, and there you go. It will strain and just go straight into the deal. And that seems pretty sturdy.